Mini Cooper S. This is a 2011 Mini Cooper S with 3,000 miles. So that's a six speed manual. Gotta slide in that Star Wars Falcon like key fob in here. Make sure it's out. E brake. Well, this is the first one I see out here. This is the first one I sit in, inside. Even at the auto show, I couldn't even get access into one, one of these. Well, let's get around and critique the interior. Dashboard is all soft to the touch, believe it or not. Up in this section. Though up above the uh, center stack or the instrument cluster, does harden right back up up here in this section but once you go over to the side to the airbag it softens right back up obviously here are the hazards their speedometer is this huge thing right there right in the middle is the information display such as the radio you can see right there in the middle over here right in front of the steering wheel you have your tack which is just similar to what Honda does they put lots of emphasis with the tack as well and you also have a little digital readout of your speed, so you don't always have to look to the center stack. The steering wheel is very thick, it's nice. You can see the exposed stitching, and I love how it gets nice and thick, especially in the traditional areas where you would grab it. Hands free controls, cruise control, and radio controls as well. You can see how everything's fluctuating right there as I push the buttons. You have in dash six disc, I assume. Your climate control, power window switches, power locks, fog lamps, sport mode, traction control, and window lock switches right there. These have a cigarette lighter. I'm surprised these guys never deleted that. You have your dual cup holders. It is sure-footed, but it has a cheap feeling to it. Center stack is also hard to the touch everything on the side you can hear it the push to start is right over here very flimsy plastic cover as well over here you can see how it just jiggles around here's a glove compartment it's fairly small though you, it is chilled so it has a little bit of AC it has a little AC vent over here I don't know if you can see it so The entire lid itself is hard to touch. Up above you have your interior lighting fixtures right there. On and off switch for the interior lights once you open the doors. Moonroof controls, you have dual sunroofs. So that's nice. And more lighting fixtures. This is for the main menu, so there's a radio just to go around and choose whatever you want. You can see, just twisting it. Possibly for the radio, Bluetooth, more fluctuations when it comes to controlling that. Auxiliary and USB input. This big handle here is actually the e-brake. And this little guy there's a holder for the sunglasses. It's a piece of shit. Very flimsy. But you have one. This is a bit clumsy right here when it comes to the armrest and the e-brake. They can crash cores together. So that's a stupid design. It, it is sure-footed. And it's not hard to the touch, the armrest itself. It is kind of uh, padded, like a rubbery finish to it. Seats are actually somewhat comfortable, they're not too bad. More lighting fixtures up in the middle. That lens is very flimsy. You have your sun visor. It's mirror and vanity light, so it's not too bad. Some oh shit handles, so the driver can say oh shit. Door panel. 
It is somewhat soft to the touch, mostly like a rubbery finish. It's not too bad. Armrest is very plush, thankfully. This is hard to the touch, this entire section back here. All of this. Just this rubbery finish right here, that's about it. And this padding right there for the armrest. Power mirrors. These have a six speed manual. Your seat legroom isn't too bad. And materials follow through into the back seat when it comes to the door panel. Rubbery finish around the entire thing. So you have a somewhat hard armrest over here. Not much of one at all. And this seems to be a rather ugly fit and finish here. Like a little plastic cap, similar to what they do in the Camry. I like how the seats do slide forward. If you wish, you can see the railing right there. The seats do not recline any more than that. But they do fold down. You can see. Don't really have much of a center console, just mostly for your cup holders. It's somewhat flimsy. Power outlet and some seat pockets in the back. Yeah, it's not a bad place to be though. isn't that much of a big deal. Somewhat tiny. But uh, you have a little floor in here that's sunken in. Just lift it right up and you have a little storage area. So it's not too bad. Seems like a car cover or a jack storage in there. Yeah, that's jack storage. First aid kit. And a little cargo cover up here. These are 17 inch wheels. There's a 1.6 liter turbo, four cylinder. Engine does sound nice though. Alrighty, so let's give this car a break. I know a lot of people really criticized it for having four doors because it's not really much of a mini anymore. Attractive looking car. Bit on the pricey side though. 